Hello everyone! This is part one of the equipment crafting series intended to get you from a complete beginner to a masterful level of equipment crafting. Starting off with the foundational basics, the anatomy of an item. If this guide has helped you out, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. There are seven rarities of items, each with a corresponding color. These are common, improved, magic, extraordinary, legendary, unique, and sets. There are also bugs, such as the sand dune set where the background and border color don't match, but let's just ignore these for now and hopefully they'll get fixed eventually. As far as crafting is concerned, common items are useless and can be sold for gold. When you hover over an item, you'll get a tooltip. The default view hides much of the info, so you can either press the hotkey Y to trigger the advanced view temporarily, or permanently set it to the advanced view under settings, which is what I would strongly advise doing, otherwise the rest of the crafting guide won't make much sense. The top portion of the item are base values, which are just absolute numbers that add to your character sheet. These can either be colored white for lower values, gold for values between 76 to 90% of the maximum value, and platinum for values 91 to 100% of the maximum value. Please remember that these values scale according to the level of the item, and the maximum item level in the game is 145 at the moment. There is no way to transfer these stats, so you will have to pray Lady Luck will give you good equipment with gold or ideally platinum base values on a high level item. The next portion of interest in relation to crafting are enchantments, which are always percentage values. This is the portion of an item that can be transferred from one item to the next. All enchantments modify the matching base values and gems slotted into that item and that item only, including the misleading increased weapon attack speed. The amount it adds on is included in brackets in green. Blue colored values are for lower values, gold is for values between 76 to 90% of the maximum value, and platinum for 91 to 100% of the maximum value. Again, remember that enchantments scale to the level of the item it originated from. Bug alert here, all platinum lines and improved items appear as blue lines right now, and some platinum lines appear as blue lines on other rarities as well, but these are genuine platinum lines. Enchantments are also important because different rarities will have different numbers of enchantments. Common items have none and thus are useless. Improved items have one. Magic items have two. Extraordinary items have three. Legendary items have four. And unique and set items can have three or four depending on that particular item. Your end goal is to have a collection of legendary, unique, or set items, each crafted with four platinum lines that complement your playstyle. Now that you've learned the important parts of the anatomy and item, you're ready for part two of this guide, which will appear right on this screen once I have it uploaded. Hope you have yourself a wonderful day, and best of luck with your drops.